Alright guys, so I'm at this carrier where the master rooftop unit here. So first thing, compassor. Obviously it's a mercy. It's the weekend. They want to get it going. I need a 75 then a half. So you put a 60, a 10, and a 5. Up together and you're good. Groovy. I called the old dynamite. I got the machine going. But I was looking around to see why would the fan go on and off like the guy was saying. So immediately avoid a callback. Take the information in what the guy said and look around. And I realized that you gotta look for pinch points. And these units and many other RTUs, package units, the wires shoot back behind there for the compressor and the and the fan in between those two metal um, cavities there. And I found either it's shaved a bit or something in the wire is defective. Because when I wiggle this wire, it's affecting it on and off. So I'm going to fix that wire and see what happens. So just keep an eye on the stuff like that. So you got your compressor wires going that way too. And it's just vibration and right against the metal. So got to be careful. So this machine will keep on going. It's going to fix that wire. So I had in the truck, so I made it work. They'll be happy, the machine's going, and um, we'll go from there. So it's just a small tip. Showed up to the unit. He says, it's not running. But before that, I remember telling me that the fan, the symptoms of the fan going off and on, and obviously you guys know the, the outcome to, of that. Um, he didn't know what was going on obviously he's not trained to look into these details but he knew enough to say that why is the fan going off and on so took the information in didn't just change the capacitor because just changing the capacitor yes we got the unit running but doesn't solve what he was talking about from the earlier earlier times he did mention he had another company come out here a while back, uh, last year, to check for that. And they said everything was fine. But it wasn't fine. 